Hello beautiful people, you're especially welcome to TGD TV News and if this is your first time coming across my page on news for the very first time, I say you a super welcome. I remain your humble sister from another mother. My name is Tila Excellency of the Federal Republic of my Kingdom, Tahila the Great. Now the news. What we see in Nigerian democracy is really discouraging especially for the future of the youths like seriously is this how the youths of this country will be encouraged to go into politics because election in nigeria is selection who is presenting you never be carried away by what the institution promise you because the institution we don't have a workable institution the institution will give you empty promise promises that will make your mind comfortable and then you'll be thinking that you are covered that is a very big lie the governorship candidate of sdp held a world conference to raise an alarm consigning the just concluded governorship election in kogi state where he pointed many irregularities keep watching for more details i'll be right back thank you by now you are watching the result from the various local governments in the state. Uh, as you know, there are over voting in five of the 21 local governments in the state, namely Ajakuta, uh, Okene, Okei, Adagi, and Ogori Magogo. And NMD promised us yesterday that they are, they are investigating the matter until they finish the investigation, they will not announce the result. And from what is happening now, the results have been announced by same, the same INA that promised of investigating our commit our complaint yesterday. So it is clear that the staff of INA have compromised us to so work hard to win this election, won the election, but INA, the INA staff have compromised us and were expected, based on the promise INA made to us, that this election is going to be transparent. But we are surprised. In Okene, for instance, they are saying they registered 99% turnout in Okene. Nobody died. And INEC is accepting this result. What Bibas is showing is different from what uh, they have accepted. And they give us this assurance that Bibas is going to counter any issue of overvoting. So I left it to Nigeria to watch. INEC as an institution has disappointed us again. In Bayosa now, because of our voting, they have cancelled the election in Bayosa. Some areas. Some areas. In some areas, because of our voting. The same thing has happened here. But INEC have refused to cancel the election and they are going out with the announcement of the result. So it's obvious that INEC here has compromised. Mm -hmm. We thank God that we are alive. God is watching. And the uh, next, uh, next line of action will be communicated to the jury. INEC INEC by the electoral law 2022 as amended according to section 65.1 is empowered to do a review where there are infractions. I need to, according to section 51, 2, 3, and 4 of the electoral law 2022 as amended is empowered to, uh, to cancel elections where there is an overvoting. From the IRF, the result posted from Okene, Okei, Adavi, Anjokuta, and uh, Ogorimagogo. There is a difference between accredited voters and total vote casted. This is a straight thing that INEC has been empowered to handle even without the court. In Bayesa this morning, we saw where there were infractions like that, INEC cancelled the election. And the cancellation is for the purpose of going back to repeat that election where the volume of votes involved can field the position of the election. And that is what we expected INEC to do. INEC yesterday came out with a strong letter 
How can they turn back from the letter they wrote yesterday that some things can no longer be tolerated? The idea of go and vote, do whatever you like and go to court does not help democracy. Democracy, if this is allowed to continue, then we are practicing autocracy and not democracy. This is the truth of the matter. And we want to uh, uh, appeal to ANDEC authorities at the headquarters to come in immediately and intervene in what is happening in Kogi State. We cannot follow the law and become the victim. We cannot follow the, the law and be obedient Nigerians and become those who are punished for being obedient. This is an anomaly. And we call on all well-meaning Nigerians, wherever they are, to come to the aid of the people of Kogi State. We are under a powerful oppressive power and we need our release right away. This election shows clearly the mandate of the people where it lies. Every Nigerian, every human being on earth has access to the IRF. Please go and check and confirm what we are saying. When you see 220 people uh, accredited, then you see 800 and, uh, uh, and something vote. Uh, cast them. This is an anomaly. What I need me to do is to pass such uh, units as the case may be. But it is not so in Kogi. Particularly, we are aware that Kogi Island has announced okay where we have tabulated and shown them the areas of infractions. We have brought them out. If they do not see it, if they claim that they are not, they are not able to see what we are talking about. We brought them out from their own island, and we showed it to them. So, and what are they waiting for? Why would they continue to announce such results, which is unacceptable? We will not accept, and let there be no, let them not be the reason for a revolution in Nigeria. We can't continue this way. Thank you. We thank you. Just as uh, His Excellency has spoken, uh, we are being punished because we have been obedient to the law. We have every opportunity to inflate the results from other local government where we have our stronghold. We will decide to respect the law, to be on the side of the law. But as it is now, what INEC has done, especially the INEC staff here, they are giving room for INEC. Because where people are oppressed, they have no choice than to defend themselves. And it's obvious. It's obvious. The way it's going, and if they allow this trend to continue, we have no choice but to find a way to defend this democracy. And that we shall do if God gives us the opportunity. And I'll allow one of our leaders to speak today. Well, it is obvious that justice in Nigeria is becoming discriminatory, and it is not equal room for everybody. If elections are taking place in Bayelsa, and the same infractions are happening in Bayelsa, and I've been counseled. We will not want to believe that another law is being used for the people of Kogi State and for the SDP. So my belief is that I am sure that INEC will do the least. Secondly, if the same INEC goes up to the release that was out yesterday, admitting that there were serious infractions in five local government areas, and that INEC will be talking to Nigeria about the next line of action in 24 hours. And we are still working within the 24 hours as promised by INEC. We are waiting lovely and patiently for the 24 hours to elapse. And INEC is going ahead to collect results and collect results from those local government areas where we show fraud pervaded. It means something is going on behind the scene. And if we are talking about government of the people, we don't know that Mutala Yakuba Jaka has already sailed to victory. And attempts are being made through the back door, particularly 
by the sitting governor of the state who has vowed to ensure that he will use all means, illegitimate or legitimate, to ensure that the LGBT candidate does not, does not emerge. And because he has seen that the people and God are greater than him, he's resorting to all sorts of things to ensure that he's, he changes the will of the people. And for the government that is on the ground for today, I am sure they are interested in protecting the interest of the people to do the needful so that Kogi State will not necessarily be heated up. That is our position. Thank you very much. With this, we are welcome. All right, beautiful people, I'm sure you're done listening to the SDP governorship candidate, Motala Ajaka. So, guys, bring your thought like at the comment section because this Mata Choco, the Mata Choco, it a Choco, it a touch intestinal, the Mata they touch blood. Oh, this Mata concern my future and your future. Democracy in this country is becoming something else, and the more we just Keep quiet and be looking at things unfolding every day, getting bad and bad and bad every day. We we'll all suffer for it. So, guys, I'll be waiting for all of your thoughts. Like at the comment section, share this video, and thanks for watching.